hello everybody happy wednesday welcome back to the faber boutique we are coming in today with a really quick topic really quick discussion i will, of course will leave the scripture on the screen and put it down in the description box below as well as well as the reference uh, material that i will reference today so today's topic is all about you know you hear a lot about this um hustle culture and don't sleep and uh, all of this and, and, and encourage you know different people out here encouraging you you know if you got time to sleep you you don't have time to make money or you missing on money and or um just sleep and vacation all the money will just come by doing all these you know different things some things are legitimate that people talk about other things is just a lot of toiling and will lead people to frustration um and think that they may not be on the right path and part of that may be another part of that is perhaps the way that you are going about it if you have not submitted your plans to god um is the reason why um it's not going the way you think it should it could be a plethora of things so the scripture i want to um lift up today is actually from proverbs it is proverbs let me go to it here and i'm actually going to be reading from the new king james version it's proverbs 10 verse 22 and it reads the blessing of the lord makes one rich and he adds no sorrow to it so when we think about the blessings of the lord and this says makes one rich this does not mean um financial in all of that we tend to um put god in the box and think that oh you know rich means just only financial gains and different things of that nature when um no S sometimes that can be um but you could be rich in peace rich in rich in just loving where you are in in your family life in your uh, spiritual walk it doesn't always have to do with money so when we're thinking about the riches from god and you're thinking about okay the different things that you're working on and just remove that hustle culture just out of the vocabulary and think about it more so how god would like you to approach a situation um you getting no sleep, always stressed, um, bank account always dry because you're trying to pay out for this coach and that coach and this um, program and that program and you're not necessarily seeing the return. According to God's word, he said he adds no sorrow to it. So think about the approach that you're taking to that particular situation, whether you have a business, um, maybe it's uh, school related, maybe it's work related, um, uh, and you're looking for advancement on your job, how are you going about doing that? What has been your focus um, in doing that? Um, are you doing it the way you feel that God has directed you or that people have directed you? There is a big difference. And I also want to highlight out of um, the, uh, you all know I always reference uh, Tony Evans Bible commentary, which is a awesome commentary. I will link to it uh, down in the description box below. And as it says here, I'm just gonna read for you. It says the Lord's blessing enriches and he adds no painful effort to it. A blessing in this is instance is a god-given capacity to enjoy his goodness in your life money and good health are certainly nice things to have but they are not necessarily blessings in the biblical sense many people have such things but don't enjoy them and aren't blessed by them they have no sense of god's peace or satisfaction in their hearts thus even good things can become a source of unhappiness or discontentment. When God pours out his goodness to you, he gives you joy and peace and satisfaction with it, regardless of your particular situation. So I just want to encourage you, if you are struggling with a certain situation, um, something that you're working on, again, it could be business, it could be school, it could be finances, whatever it may be, make sure that you are submitting your plans to God because you want the blessings of God because the blessing of the Lord makes one rich and he adds no sorrow to it. I hope this blesses you today. Again, 
Proverbs 10, 22. Make sure that you take some time and read over that scripture um, this week, this month. Uh, maybe it's something that you'll uh, meditate on throughout the rest of the year. But I thank you so much for tuning in today. Again, we upload every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Make sure that you are following us over on um, all of our social media. I will leave that up here and information down in the description box below as well. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section. Don't forget to visit our website. We have a variety of products in information for you over on the website and if you shop the website you do get free shipping on um, any purchases over fifty dollars so thank you so much everybody for tuning in today and we will see you next wednesday have a blessed week bye